Hey everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons. And as we continue through the super easy songbook, Taylor Swift, we are at Back to December. And in this particular song, we have five chords. The first few had four. This has five chords. So what's going to happen is these, as I've said before, if you've seen my other videos, these are what I call finger maps. And they tell you exactly where to place your fingers with the chord symbols. And this is a great way for my beginner students, whether they are kids or adults, to play some Taylor Swift music. And it's not involving the grand staff. Your left hand is playing these chords and I'll show you how they go. And your right hand is playing in the treble clef and it's playing the melody. And every single one of these notes are labeled. So if you are just learning how to read music, want a little help, in learning to read music. These letters should help you along your journey. All right, so our chord symbols, which are above the right hand melody, you've got an F and your hand, this is middle C. Your right hand's gonna be doing most of its playing in this range of the piano. All right, so the F chord is F on the bottom, A in the middle, C on top. Leave your fingers on C and A but move your pinky down to E for the A minor chord. Would you see the letter A with an M? That's A minor. Now for your B flat chord, you're going to need to slide your thumb into this black key. This is a B flat, F, D. Then we're gonna make our move to the C chord and these aren't in root position. If they were in root position, the bottom note would be the same as the name of the chord. The C chord is going to have an E on the bottom, a G in the middle, and a C on the top, and it looks like that. And the D minor chord is going to be a D on the bottom, an F in the middle, and an A on top. So I'm going to run through those again. F chord, A minor chord, B flat chord, C chord, D minor chord. It would be a really good idea if you just ran through these chords so that you feel comfortable with them, confident. The more you play them, the more confident you will be. Now I'll go through just the right hand melody. Your melody starts on this A. So it's the A above middle C. And that's the end. Now I'm going to put both hands together for back to December. Remember you're starting down here with your chords, F-A-C and an A here. So F-A-C, here's your A, there we go.
and that's it. F chord might sound good at the end. That's up to you. So that would go and then down to give it a sense of ending. On a lot of these songs, I notice they don't really sound like the end. So I can kind of explain that to you at another time, but we can you can add in a chord. I hope this helped and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.